It's fair to say all bets were a ride off when it comes to this year's Minecraft Live. Seeing how they've been threatening us with the new changes about how Minecraft updates are treated, their announcement that there'll be no mob vote, the general feeling that it kind of gave up on spin-off games like Minecraft Dungeons and Legends, and of course the first trailer for the Minecraft movie still looming over us. However, I don't think anyone expected it to just be 30 minutes and to feature so little of actual announcements or hype. And the reaction online has been pretty much what you expected. Don't get me wrong, I'm fine with the idea of us getting smaller updates throughout a year, however there's a lot to be said about what these smaller drops would look like in scope. Some recent updates have already been painfully malnourished, and now they're threatening to make them even more so. Seeing how they're treating finally bringing bundles to the game and adding hardcore to bedrock after so many years as an update worthwhile enough to actually give a proper name, that is kind of worrisome. But of course we have to talk about the elephant in the room, the brand new Pale Garden, or well, Pale Forest, because there's not much gardening about it. Don't get me wrong, the idea is awesome and the brand new mob is pretty cool, but after you get the initial hype, then you have to start asking yourselves the proper questions, like why bother? What's actually going to be special or useful about the biome, especially seeing how no drops in the mob have been announced, no new uses for its special hard block haven't mentioned either, and while we do get a brand new word type, it is literally just desaturated oak wood, so one can only get so excited about that. Don't get me wrong, by just having a unique mob, and one with such a special gameplay mechanic, it's definitely more unique than other forest variants out there, but especially given how it's supposed to be the kind of spooky scary forest, and the kind of huge hype they build around this with this whole segment by element animations, you'd expect it to be at least a bit more atmospheric than that, and all the hype to try to build around it with stuff like the animation then just kind of feels like a wasted effort when at the end of the day the final result matters the most. So you gotta think about all the money they spent hiring Element to make this that could have gone into actually making it a more enjoyable experience. But again, if that was all that the forest was, that would still be fine given how it's still at least another cool biome. However, it would only be fine if it was just a drop in the bucket of a larger update. However, it isn't. It has to try and stand on its own merit and uh, well, one can only get so excited. And if this is the level of these new drops, then I'm getting kind of worried about the future of the game and its updates. What's especially unfortunate is small drops like this that add brand new biomes or something big structure-wise into the game. Whenever a big update rolls around, people usually like to start fresh with a brand new world. However, with these small updates, the issue is that many people may not see the point of updating however they would have to if they want to actually have all the brand new stuff spawn in the world. Now granted, you can always just reset your chunks, though that's a pretty painstaking method, especially seeing how there's still no proper way way of doing it in vanilla, rather having to rely on external programs. And for example, if one of these brand new biomes or structures is set to spawn, some way you've already built, then you either have to reset all your work, or be left with a longer journey to find all of these new things, which makes them kind of out of the way and a bit awkward. This is even worse given the fact that we still haven't had any proper end update, which by the way, if you missed it, has now been even semi-officially teased by marrying themselves given the whole Ender Cup ending. That deserves a huge update. The size of the never update if not bigger. So how exactly can that be accomplished with a brand new drop system? Are we just gonna get one new biome in the end at a time? Stretching it out for years on end? If they announce this brand new drop system after an end update, I would actually be happy. Because apart from the end, there's no other glaring things left in the game that need such a massive overhaul. Think about it. Oceans, villages, the nether, that's all been sorted out. There's nothing really left that is mega outdated that desperately needs that kind of treatment apart from just the end dimension. The current relationship between the Mojang team and its fans when it comes to updates is royally messed up, I think we can all agree, and this has certainly not helped the situation. And it looks like Mojang are just learning all the wrong lessons when it comes to what the fans actually want or what they want the future of the game to actually look like. Either that or they're purposefully ignoring it because Microsoft are forcing them to develop a game in a specific way, which I wouldn't put past them either. But still, congrats guys. I don't think the community could have ever been less hyped about future updates in Minecraft than right now after this Minecraft Live. Seeing how the only new things they've been able to announce is recolored wood and an Enderman with scoliosis. Plus, huge thanks to Gavin Burns, Justin Rage, Elav Ronyak, Bardash Roker, Patrick Harrison, not a pseudonym, Max Sumner, Shane Ucroft, Level Up and Robert Sanders. Thank you.